the energy of the emitted X rays depends upon the of the atom and their intensity depends upon the A. Atomic number amount of sample B. Mass number amount of sample C. Mass number concentration of atoms D. Atomic number concentration of atoms The correct answer is Atomic number concentration of atoms which of the following is mostly s equation if c is the speed of light a is proportionality constant is a constant which depends on electronic transition series z is the atomic number and is the wavelength a c a z 2 b c a z 2 c c z 2 a d c z 2 a the correct answer is c a z 2 which of the following components of the X-ray fluorescent spectrometer induces fluorescent radiation? A. Excitation source B. Energy analyzer C. X-ray spectrometer D. Detection system The correct answer is Excitation source in X-ray fluorescence spectrometer the relationship between the excitation intensity and the intensity of fluorescence does not depend on which of the following. A. Spectrum of the incident radiation. B. Angle of radiance. C. Molecular weight. D. Incident angle. The correct answer is. Incident angle. Which of the following does not make the X-ray tube nearly monochromatic? A. Transmission anode X-ray tube B. Secondary fluorescence target C. Slit D. Filters The correct answer is Slit Why is a mono-energetic radiation source required in X-ray fluorescent spectrometer? A. To provide good sensitivity B. To provide high accuracy C. To provide a proper range. D. To reduce unwanted background. The correct answer is. To reduce unwanted background. Fluorescent X-ray spectrometers would require only moderate intensity X-ray tubes. A. True. B. False. C. D. The correct answer is. False. The problem of spectral interference is not severe in X-ray spectroscopy. A. True. B. False. C. D. The correct answer is. True.